Dodgers hosting the Reds, and the Dodgers are minus 245 on the money line. The Reds are plus 205. The over-under is nine runs. Cincinnati getting a run and a half are plus 105. The Dodgers laying a run and a half are minus 120. Now, Gutierrez did not pitch against the Dodgers last year, and uh, I'm going to butcher his last name. Gonsolin pitched once against the Reds last year. It was in relief. He went two and a third. He gave up three. All of them were earned, but the Dodgers won that game eight to five. Now, the Reds are on a three-game losing streak, and seemingly the Dodgers are one of these teams that everybody loves to bet. So if you can find some value in a pick and pick against them, go for it. Now, the Dodgers are on a three-game winning streak. The Dodgers are on a three-game winning streak against the Reds. The Dodgers are six and four in their past ten games against the Reds. The under is 6-4. The favorite winning the game by two is 3-0 and in their last three games. And the, t- the favorite winning the game by two is 7-3 and in their past 10 meetings. So that's the reason why the Dodgers' money line laying runs continues to skyrocket. I'm going to take the Dodgers with the money line. I take the Dodgers laying the run and a half, and I'm going to go under nine. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.